Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of Knights of the Old Republic 2, The Sith Lords. Alrighty, when we left off, we were still stuck in the mining facility, but we're slowly working our way out. Um, also made my way into here. I think I pretty much went through everything that was possible and can't open up some of the doors. So I'm just sitting here, really, just unable to do much of anything with those doors. But I can use the log terminal. I was about to say mog terminal, that ain't right. <laughs> Not even close. Search for logged holo display entries. None logged to use personal data pad, which I have three of. Mine administrator. Uh, two logs recorded. Holo log playback confirmed. Emergency status. This may be the beginning of a long record. It's about an hour after the facility suffered the explosion that triggered the emergency lockdown. Mm -hmm. Just finished helping the dock officer set up the transmission relay. Not much signal strength, but it's better than nothing. The transmission gives the code to open the turbo lift when or if help arrives. Code is a simple group of five numbers. Three, 17, 13, then the next two numbers are... Sir, couldn't we contact the med bay? Maybe the Jedi's awake. If so, he could help us. No good. The link to the medical computer was severed from the hub, just like the administration console. Even if the Jedi wakes up, how would we get the dormitory turbo lift code to him? Without it, the turbo lift to the administration level is locked down. Hmm. That's fair. Yeah. Well. I woke up. Just not in time. Inventory and supplies. We just took an inventory of our supplies. We've got enough emergency rations in the dormitories to last almost a month. But with all the problems in the facility, I don't know how long we'll last. I wish we could contact the Jedi. Maybe he could... But no, he's still floating in that damn tank. Someone's played us for fools. And since Corda and his crew aren't locked in here with us, it's pretty clear who it was. True. If I have a catch-up with that Mandalorian loving son of a... At least the air scrubbers are still working, even though they're tied into the... Hey, what's happening to the ventilation system? This... And that explains... Why... And how all of them are dead. Fair enough. Eventually, the ventilation scrubbers gave out, and they all choked on poisonous gas. Unfortunate. Okay. Insert the dock officer holologue. Uh, three entries. Evacuation. We managed to get to the dormitories. We should be safe here. We've been trying to use the holo transmitter to beam a transmission to the administration level to end the lockdown. But the administration console has been severed from the main hub. Mm -hmm. Everyone thinks we should try to evacuate on our own as soon as possible. But there's no way to break the dormitory seals from the inside. I'm going to keep sending distress calls in the meantime. We've been trying to find a way to circumvent the lockdown and get to our hangar bay, but so far, no luck. Yeah. The only way that was possible is was if a ship docked, and that's what we found out. And since the ship docked, we might be able to, but it's only if we enter the code. Fuel Depot Force Field. The situation's worse than we thought. Even if we get out of here... We can't shut down the fuel depot force fields if a fuel leak was detected. If so, the only way off this asteroid is if a ship docks with us. Mm -hmm. But the only connection to the docking platform is on the administration level. And we can't get up to the docking bay while we're trapped here. Mm -hmm. I only hope someone survived the explosion in the mining tunnels. If not, then we're stranded here. Unless our transmission reaches a passing ship or a Telos freighter. Well, that's the hope then, isn't it? Distressed transmission. Managed to use the holo transmitter here as a crude relay to beam short burst transmissions outside the Paragas facility. With any luck, the transmission will carry beyond the asteroid field. 
We've set the emergency transmission on automatic playback. We're using a simple military flash code to transmit the code to the turbo lifts, so maybe our rescuers can get down to the dormitory when they reach the station. Without mm. those turbo lift codes, our rescuers wouldn't be able to get here from the administration level. And without those codes, we wouldn't be able to get to the administration level if we found a way out on our own. <sighs> the messages are short distress calls only, since we can't get much signal strength. It's pretty weak, so unless a ship is actively searching the area, it might be a long time before a ship picks up the message. After all, who would be scouring frequencies way out here looking for trouble? Good point. And ultimately, what doomed you all? But... Can't blame anyone for trying. Insert the minor holologue. Honolog. Come on, man. <laughs> Brain, mouth, function, please. Insert minor hololog. Quarta log active log encrypted. It cost me zero spice to do it, so decode. Alrighty. One private log recorded. Private com link message. What did you want to talk to me about? I have to suit up and drill the 3219K asteroid claim within the hour, so talk quick. I heard you had plans for the Jedi about selling him to the exchange. Security already set their piece on that, didn't they? Nobody's getting sold to anyone. Are they? I've seen the logs you've been accessing. Maybe the two of us could work something out. It doesn't matter what we work out. We wouldn't make one hyperspace jump before what's left of the Republic was on us. If you have a way off this station, I can cover our tracks. And ensure the Republic is not alerted to our presence. Well, I may know someone. Works the system on special jobs. He may want to know details, but I might be able to arrange transport. I've seen the logs. I know you've already asked him and given the details. Once he agrees, I can handle the rest. Handle the rest? Like how? When the time comes, I'll contact you via comm link. Maintenance out. Since when did the maintenance officer cross the logs? Interesting. So the maintenance officer was in on it? Turn to main functions, check the transmission. The transmission gives the code to open the turbo lift when or if help arrives. The code is a simple group of five numbers. Mm -hmm. Three, seventeen, thirteen, then the next two numbers are... Okay. And the other two numbers are five and seven. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay, cool. Some of you are probably asking how I knew that. Uh, <laughs> a, I've played this game multiple times. But B, um, the dots are three of them. So three makes sense. The dots, since we know they equal one, mean the other two numbers mean something else. It's three dots and a dash equals 13 which means the dash has to equal 10 and the two dots on 17 and a dash on there means 12 so the x has to be 5 so the x 5 does the first number right there and x and two dots mean 7 there you go okay Alrighty, now that we've done that and we've gotten the code means we can get out of here but also, I want to blow open those... Ooh. Didn't notice I had remains sitting over here. Strengthening underlay mark two. Ooh, that's good. What do I have installed already? That's the question I don't have an answer to yet. I don't remember if I installed anything. I didn't. But I can't install these because it needs to be on armor balls. I can do it on here, though. The military suit. Ooh, strengthening underlay Mark II adds to Constitution as well. Nice. Okay, that's something that we can use in the future, but... Hmm. Hmm. 
Well, if I'm going to use the military suit, I might as well just throw on Mark II. I got heat shielding Mark One. Okay. That's good. And that's good. That's as good as it's going to be. Okay. And I should probably put on that armor. <laughs> Since I'm thinking I can't put it on. Because it's now medium. Ah. <sighs> So much for that. Alright, well. Oops, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to take all of that off. <sighs> okay, well. Military suit I can't use. But I still can put stuff on it. Now I think about it. I might as well have kept that heat shielding on and just do the Mark 1. Because I might give it to someone who can use it. Like Atten. That's an idea. Alright, need to go to the other way. <laughs> Don't know why my brain didn't want to say that word. I uh, have to go the other way to get to the lab station. And from there, I can make some mines that will then let me, hopefully blow those things open. I'm hoping it will let me anyway. I'm not going to hold my breath that it will. Uh, use the lab station now. Um, nope. Because I have technically zero skill in demolitions. Can't do that. What if I equip the safety harness? What about now? Still doesn't count. Counts as actually zippity doo diddly. Crap. Okay, well, it was worth a shot. Alright, cardio re regulator back on. Also, um. Yeah, the additional awareness is nice. Um. Yeah, that's good. That's fine. Okay. Out I go. So much for that idea. But I can at least head out here to get up to the administration level. Alright. Camera logs. Holmes didn't make it out of the dormitory section before the lockdown, you murklack. You're cutting a little close, aren't you? Yes. A regrettable miscalculation on my part. I'm contacting you because I'm picking up a subspace transmission from within that level. Is that your doing? No, they they must be trying to use the old relay system to send an emergency signal. I doubt they know what's really going on. Hey, this turbo lift's locked down. And Try he's facing again, through me. And don't worry about the miners Good and thing their about holograms. By the time help arrives, we'll be all the way to Narshada. Oh, they won't be leaving the dormitories. The explosion within the tunnel has damaged the ventilation systems, causing breaches in the core exhaust conduits. What? It's going to kill them all! Not all of them, but I'm sending a number of mining droids to your location right now to correct that problem. Gorda, this turbo lift's locked down. The sequence isn't working. Keep trying it! You! Why are you doing this? Why me? You. It was never about you. The Jedi is all that interests me. But then you had to ruin everything by revealing his identity, and then trying to harm him. And that I cannot allow. Statement. You are a risk, Corda. You are impulsive, crude, Statement. and soon deceased. Hawking query. Corta, Corta, are you dead yet? Smug statement. I believe I forgot to mention that I reversed the turbolift codes in case you managed to get this far. And now everything becomes clear. The droid was the one trying to get me off the station. The droid was the one imitating the maintenance officer to cause all the issues with not only the droids, but with every single subsystem in the facility. And orchestrated the complete 
and utter annihilation of the mining population. Wow. Wow. Well. Time to get out of here. Open the turbo lift door. I don't have any computer spikes, but I can enter the code manually. First code, seven. Second code, five. Third code, 13. Fourth, 17. And last one, three. And that's because it's reversed. There we go. Now we're done. Da -da. All right. And now we can get to the administration level. And we know what's going on with that droid now. I have felt a disturbance. Our enemy is here. We must leave at once. Enemy? The one that fired upon the Ebon Hawk as we attempted to rescue him. And he will not let us go without blood being shed. Uh, wait, who is this enemy? The story is a long one, and time is short. Come, we must go, and quickly. Okay, alrighty, let's go. We need to make our way to the docking area on this level. I fear the airlock has already opened, and if so, we must be on our guard. Yep. If we cannot reach the Ebon Hawk, then we must find a way to escape on the ship that has docked here. Fair enough. Je Kreia has joined your party when she is in your active party. Her mentor special ability gives everyone a bonus to earned experience points. That is good. Pretty good. And she has levels. Cool. Alright. Let's give her some of those, shall we? Uh, yeah, strength is not really up there. Let's not bother with that. Uh, intelligence, maybe. That's something we can do. Uh, remaining points, she's at four. Um, treat injury. Awareness. And screw it. Throat and repair. Why not? I don't see why not. Um, powers, what should we do? Burst of speed? I mean, that's an option. Whoa. She got some dark side powers going, too. Fear. Force push. Okay. Um, let's get her with stun droid. That's a universally useful power. Another level up. Bring us to eight, eight, and four. Okay, stealth we're not going to use all that much. And more powers. Let's see. Let's do stun in regards to humans. That's good. Yeah. That should be good. Or, since she already has some dark side powers, let's go with wound. It would essentially do the same function as stun essentially but cause more damage yeah that's good all right and away we go what is she equipped with anyway nothing nothing at all okay uh let's give her a plasma <laughs> no that's not gonna work uh mining laser maybe that should be fine um, energy shields, because I have tons of those. Um, uh, breath mask, eh, maybe. Maybe that's worth it. Um, I already know her skills. Let's look into feats. I don't care about that. There we go, that's what I want. Okay. She's good at dueling, so one weapon is good enough for her. Okay, good. Good enough for me. Force chain. 
You and Kreia have a special bond. Most beneficial force powers used on one of you automatically affects the other. For example, if Kreia activates force resistance, then you will also receive its benefits. That is useful. Whenever Kreia is in the party, she provides a bonus to earned experience points. When she is level 1, she gives a plus 3 to all experience points. At 7th level, this becomes 5%. At 13th, this becomes a 7%. Wow. That is extremely useful. Can't turn that down. I should probably switch back to me, though. Okay, time to get to the main area. That's where I came out of. So, go this way. That can't be good. And they're not there no more. At least not noticeable. Emergency hatch. Can we open that yet? Nope. Explosions in the mining tunnels below sealed the emergency hatch. There's no way to open it. Yeah, I figured. And now we meet Atten. What in space is going on? Who's this? Another Jedi? Yeah. What, did you guys suddenly start breeding when I wasn't looking? Sure. That's basically how that works. Sure. Um, it'll take too long to explain. We have to leave. Now. Uh, all right. I'm guessing that Republic ship that just docked isn't carrying friends of yours. I hope your talent for understatement is offset by your skill with a blaster. If not, then I fear our time together will be short indeed. Yeah, and I'm also good at running and drinking, Your Majesty. And even if you two aren't big friends of the Republic, that warship's the only way off this station. Technically true, but not a way we can control. Atten has joined your party. As long as he isn't the last party member standing, he can't be knocked out. And his saving throws improve the more he's wounded. That is a very impressive and useful power. Good thing we have a clear run to the ship. Threat. Yeah. Master, perhaps I did not enunciate clearly the last time we spoke. I suggested that you should shut down, stay put, and wait for rescue. Yeah. After all the deaths you've caused, rescue is hardly the term I would use. Correction. I am not here to argue semantics, Master. I'm sure so you're I not. I simply inform you that you are wrong. As were those recently corrected miners. Mm hmm Are you the one who killed all the miners in the medical bay? Indignant answer. Master, the miners intended to place you in jeopardy. I could not allow that to take place, so I was forced to negotiate a termination of hostilities. Mm -hmm. After reprogramming the mining droids to mine any organics they perceived, they began to kill the miners one by one. Then a series of flawlessly timed explosions drove the miners into their dormitories, where I was able to gas them all at once without wasting time hunting them through the mining tunnels. I then administered a large dose of sedatives to the remaining miners in the med bay, enough to kill them, but ensure you slept peacefully. Of course, against my calculations, you awaken from your tank prematurely. I am ashamed by the inconvenience that caused for both of us. Ah, uh huh. Uh, why did you want to capture me? Answer. It is beyond the scope of my programming to probe the motivations of my clients, Master. Suffice to say mm -hmm. that I am being well compensated for my services. You have been a difficult target to find. Mm -hmm. You have been wandering the galaxy since the end of the Mandalorian Wars, leaving little record of your passage. It is as if you did not wish to be found. Yeah. By hunters such as myself, or more likely, the Jedi Order. A little. So, you found me. Obviously, I didn't do a good job. Admission. It was a matter of chance, Master. 
I happened to be serving as a protocol droid on the Harbinger when you booked passage. After that, it was a simple matter to sabotage the Harbinger and call for a retrieval. Irritated statement. However, when the Ebon Hawk appeared and salvaged us from the wreckage, I was forced into a series of rapid recalculations, culminating in our current situation. Who is this client of yours? Chiding answer. My programming renders me incapable of revealing the identity of my client, Master. It was worth a shot. I am free to say that my client is wealthy and very interested in possessing the last of the Jedi. The last of the Jedi, huh? I don't want to fight you, but if I will if you leave me no other choice. Resignation. Very well, Master. If inflicting pain is the only means to resolve this matter, then you leave me no choice. Well, that isn't good. But should be easily rectified. Mining laser. Don't know why I got that as a thing, but all right. Uh, Atten is in the party. He can wear a military suit. That's useful. Uh, make him wear the stealth field enhancer. <laughs> and then... Whoop. Make him wear the stealth field generator, because... Ha! Actually, you know what? Yeah, no, that's fine. Uh, energy shield, energy shield. And we're good. Actually, does he have dueling as well? Or is he able to do something else? He is able to do something else. And he's actually pretty good with blasters. So I guess we're going to focus on having two of them. Also, he has a level up as well. So we might as well do that. Attributes. Uh, wow, that intelligence is low. Wowzers. Uh, I guess it's not worth it otherwise. Go to dexterity. Or... Uh, let's put it in intelligence and then see where his skills are. Oh. He could be skill monkey. <laughs> as the term goes. Mm. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Alright, uh... Not much else in stealth. Don't need that uh, at all, really. Uh, but we can do that. That would be good. Alright, and then bring him up to five. Which... Yeah, that'll work. Maybe not on awareness, but security. There we go. And then we can work on awareness after. Cool. Cool. Feet, sneak attack, and two weapon fighting. I forgot to add it. There we go. And with that, we're good. Booyah. Alright, and move back to me, and... They'll just keep... Shooting at those until the mines are gone. Good. And now we can focus on the the droid. And keep doing flurries. Oh hey, the other droid's helping me. Lovely, I love it. I love it. That's why I kept them alive. That's why I kept them alive. Alright. I'm doing pretty decent damage. I should run away now. Systems failing, monster. Welp. Self-sustaining unit, vocabulator, and advanced mining laser. All done. We did it. The main threat in the facility is now dealt with. Yay! Okay. Oh. Oh. Thank you for your service, damaged mining droid. We appreciate you. Uh, is it this way? Get to the docked ship? Maybe? No? Okay. 
it's not this way. <laughs> Alrighty. It is the other way, which is the way I guess I should have gone. That one. There we go. That will lead me into the other ship. Harbinger Command Deck. Well. Something is wrong. I sense no one on board. You sense no one on board? <laughs> sense any assassin droids creeping up behind us like last time? Everyone here has been slain. Yet there are few signs of battle. No carbon scoring, no blast of fire. This place has been hit by assassins of a different sort. Then what are we doing on this ship? We were better off in the facility. You two are supposed to be Jedi? You two are the worst Jedi I've ever met. <sighs> okay. All right. There is no way we could have foreseen literally everything that just happened. There was too much to have foreseen. There's no way. All right. Calm down. We need a plan, not accusations. If the assassin machine was correct, then we cannot reach the hangar. Be silent. I need some time to think. Hmm. We can bypass the force field to the hangar by getting into the engine room on the ship, then exiting through the fuel pipe. Look, I don't mean to cast another shadow on this, but even if you could reach the ship you came in on, it wouldn't matter. You'll need the orbital drip charts to clear the Paragus asteroid field, unless you want to have the shortest flight out of Paragus ever recorded. That's fair. Uh, we survived Paragus, we can take control of this ship. I mean... Then how did this ship dock here? Well, of course they have the asteroid drift charts in their Nava computer. They'd have to. So let's get their codes then. Then we can worry about reaching the Ebonhawk. Well, we'd have to get to the bridge. I mean, well, that's the biggest problem I can see. That is a sound plan for the moment. Let us go. Now that you have a party, certain actions and dialogue responses will increase or decrease your influence with your companions, depending on how their personalities work. Some respect cruelty, while others may respect nobility, loyalty, cleverness, brute force, and so on. The higher your influence with a companion, the more your alignment affects theirs. An extreme high and low influence with a companion can open up additional dialogue options. There are benefits to both, so treat them as you will. Hmm. Our enemies gather while we wait here. Uh. Hmm. <laughs> I could do that. It'd be mean, but we could do that. Um. Forgive me, Cray. I was distracted for a moment. I'll be more mindful of the present. Very well. And got influence with Kreia. Nice. Cool. With that done, I guess now we explore this area. Low security door, you say, huh? Whoa. Well. That definitely proves what she said. A lot of dead Republic soldiers on board. There we go. That door is bro- Ken. Okay. Well, that can't be good. Ooh, I managed to stun him. Nice. And with that... Hey! Thank you for covering my behind. Oh, it's late enough in the episode. I can say ass. <laughs> Trying not to swear this whole time. I didn't even need to. Briefing room console. Check briefing logs. Course change to Onderon. We've been diverted from Onderon to the outer rim. There's not enough ships out there, and we're already hard pressed to keep patrolling the regions under our jurisdiction. I'm afraid we're going to lose it all. There's just not enough ships and too much territory to cover. Mm. We're still rebuilding from the war with Malak, and sometimes I wonder if we'll ever recover. Still, we have our orders. 
and the Republic's put the highest priority on this mission. Looks like the trouble on Andron will have to wait. I guess so. Give me a moment. I just noticed a uh, text message on my phone. I have to figure out if it's work or not. Okay, sorry about that. It was a long-winded text message for a co-worker. All right, uh, passenger transport is the next log. As ordered, we've picked up the passengers from the outer rim and have made quarters for them. Once aboard, we've plotted a course for Telos. We expect to arrive within 10 standard days, provided there's no mishaps. I've been ordered to give the passenger no special treatment, nor make any indication of his identity. I have some reservations about turning the Harbinger into a passenger liner, but the orders were clear. Whoever this passenger is, he's got diplomatic level priority, whether he knows it or not. Apparently I didn't hide myself all that well from anyone else, either. Someone else knew who I was, because I'm assuming they're talking about me. Unless they're talking about someone who was with me, who died. But, from the sound of it, the only imp important person throughout this entire story so far is me. So I'm assuming it's about me. <laughs> well, okay. Uh, apparently the Republic knew I was there and knew I was going to get picked up. Or... I knew the Republic was going to help. It's hard to say. Unfortunately. Okay, distress signal. We picked up a distress signal and are sending a message to the Republic for permission to investigate. We have also transmitted the damaged vessel's ID signature to the Republic. According to the message, it's being pursued by Sith forces. There's no match mm. for the vessel in our databanks, but the profile of the distress signal suggests it's a stock trader of some kind. We'll only know for sure when we arrive, and we'll find out if the signal's genuine or a trap. Well, then they're talking about the Ebon Hawk. Priority override. We wanted to check with you, sir, before diverting course from Telos. There appears to be some battle that has taken place in the sector, and we've received a distress signal. You have permission to divert course, Captain. If there's a Sith presence Wha in the region, I want you to investigate. The ID signature on the freighter, did you get confirmation on it? Yes, sir. We did not have the vessel listed in our databanks, so we transmitted the code to you. Was there a match? There was, Captain. If you find any trace of that vessel, even wreckage, I want it. Yes, sir. After you've investigated the sector, resume oh. course to Telos with the passenger. It is of the highest importance that he reach Telos. Yes, sir. I'll but make sure he arrives intact. Good hunting, Captain. Admiral Nassi out. <sighs> Sometimes I wonder if the right hand of the Republic knows what the left hand is doing. I've always been kept in the... D Query, you sent for me, Captain. Yes, I need you to check on the passenger again and see if there's anything he needs. Try not to be too obvious about it. His safety is our top concern. Statement. I shall use the utmost discretion, Captain. As always, it is my pleasure to serve. Huh. Okay. Um... Last I saw that cutscene play out, I don't recall Karth being the other person. Interesting. Extremely interesting. Karth is now Admiral. Good on him, I guess. Buzzkill. Alright, return to main <laughs> console functions. Uh, and log out, I guess. Alright. Let's continue traveling around. Wow. Okay. I've never seen that with Karth before. Or at least I don't recall seeing it with Karth. Am I just losing my mind? Well, that's obviously a possibility. But I could swear... Whoa, Hatton just teleported behind me. I could swear 
Atten never used to be a part of that. Not Atten. Uh, Karth never used to be a part of that conversation. Like, ever. Weird. Okay. A Navic computer? I can... Oh, really? You're not going to let me do anything with it? Come on. And I can use a repair part to reroute the Navic computer. Cool. Rerouted the system and accessed what remains of the ship's astrogation capabilities. Check the Harbinger logs. Oh boy, four more logs. All right. Uh, emergency broadcast. We have taken on passengers to Telos. Sir, we've just received an emergency broadcast. A freighter under attack by Sith forces. Can you get an ID on the ship? Yes, sir. We have its ID signature. It's not in our databanks, but its profile suggests some low-stock freighter. It says it's being hit hard by a Sith warship. Sir? I need to confirm with command before we move to intercept. Gotcha. That was before they actually went ahead and grabbed the freighter. Okay. Sith warship. Report. The Sith warship is empty, sir. We attached an umbilical and sent three strike teams through it. And there's no sign of a crew or its commander. There's no one on board? What about the escape pods? They're still in their berth, sir. This place, it's empty. It's like a ghost ship. Then who was firing at the freighter? We don't know, sir. The freighter's empty, too. We, we did a clean sweep and nothing except a lone T3 unit, badly damaged. Did you still want a tractor beam to the harbinger? Search the freighter and the warship one more time. If they're clean, then we'll tractor the freighter over. Yes, sir. No idea why the Admiral thought that freighter worth all the effort. We'll find out. So, after all of that, both of them looked empty. But we're also noticing the Sith that are currently here have cloaking devices of some kind. People on the Ebon Hawk. I'm assuming that she was one of them. Kreia, I mean. Because she was taken off the ship with me when we got to Paragus. She was hiding as well, I guess. Interesting. Survivors. Everyone in the Ebon Hawk was dead, sir. We're starting autopsies within the hour. What about that Sith corpse we retrieved from the warship? We haven't had a chance to fully examine it, sir. He looks human, but he's fractured in several places. Well, keep me posted. Something's wrong here, and I want to know where all those Sith on the warship went. So they were able to find bodies, but not not living people other than the T3. Emergency report. We're still experiencing a problem with the communications array, and now maintenance is telling me there's a cascade failure in the weapons. Sir, I just picked up an unusual sound from MedLab. Ah! I have come for the Jedi. What the hell was that? Sir, I don't know. Communications just got cut. Send a security team to MedLab, now! And it's already gone downhill. Return to main console functions and download the orbital drift charts. And they have been downloaded. Good. Let's log out. Get out of here. And we're good. Time for end of episode. Because right now we are, well, near the end of time. So, uh, grab the energy shield, computer spikes and parts, and we're good. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. Wow, these guys are freaking out. This has been the one and the only Stray Cat. Playing games and trying to make our way out of the facility as best we can. Looks like we can't necessarily use this ship because it might be infested with Sith. But hopefully we can get out of here using the Ebon Hawk. It'll be a long roundabout way because we have to use a fuel line, but we will get out of here that way. Hopefully soon. And hopefully without Sith following us. Problem is they already are, so we're SOL. But all we can do is try, right? For you.